Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Chotwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very strange issue which I found recently and one of my subscribers also found the same issue. That the Chrome is not getting started with a new version of Chrome. Okay. So I will show you the workaround how you can fix it. Okay. And uh, how you can implement the same. So before we start uh, the actual, you know, solution, let me tell you what exactly the issue which is happening right now. And later on, we'll see how we can fix it. So if you see, these are you know previous tests that we have written. So we have written element.js file where we have uh, one test. Then we have written basically this was the first test, then this was the second, and this was the third one. So we have written multiple tests so far. And the moment if I try to run them, ideally they should run, right? Now if I show you my config file, if you come down further. You will notice we are using something called Chrome driver service, right? So let me just search here. Yeah. Can you see the services? I'm using Chrome driver service. So basically, the Chrome driver should get downloaded and it should start the Chrome, right? Now, let me try to run them. So for the timing, what I will do, I will only run one file because anyways, it will not run. So if I run this spec file, or oh, sorry, if I run this configuration file, it's going to run this multiple element.js file. Let me run simple this element.js because this have multiple steps to perform. So I just mentioned, go ahead and run elements.js, which is basically going to log into one application and then it will perform some validation. Now, how do we run this? Uh, so it's very straightforward. The first thing that we need to do, we need to use npx. Then I will use webdriver IO, which is wdio run. And I'm going to run wdio.config.js file, which is this. Now notice the behavior, guys. The moment I hit enter, as you can see, execution of one worker started, starting on Chrome started and closed can you see it started and closed again starting closed and started and closed it's not even running it tried four times you can see dev tool listening dev tool listening but after giving a four try it failed and if you try to read this we are not getting any kind of you know message or clear exception so that we can identify but something went wrong just during the initializing of the browser itself so now this is the driver issue. It means the browser version that you have and the driver service that we're using, they're not compatible. Okay, now the question comes, how do we fix it? So in this case, when you, you face this kind of issues where the browser and driver version is not compatible, you can directly provide the Chrome driver path directly. Okay, so if you go back to our, um, you know, config.js file, and if you go back to this services right now we are just giving the default chrome driver service but let's say now i want to give some flags or i will say i want to provide some arguments how we can do that we will see that so let me show the official documentation of web driver io and then i will show you how you can modify this for this i will go back to any browser and let me search for web driver io So this is the official website, which is webdriver.io. And if you see on the services page, click on services, and you can see the lot of services available. We are looking for one of the service called Chrome driver service, which is the service that we are using, right? So this is already installed. So if you see our packet.json file, so we are already using webdriver.io Chrome driver service. If you want to cross check, Let's go back to packet.json and you will see, yes, we are using webdriver IO, Chrome driver service. At the time of recording this, I'm using 7.2.0, right? Which is this. In case if you're not using, you can directly do this using npm install. In our case, we already have. Now, this is the main part that we need to see. We can do the configuration now. By design, only Google Chrome is available when installed on the whole system. In order to use the services, you uh, need to add Chrome driver in your service array, okay, which we are already adding. 
Now you can also pass these additional options. Okay, so you can see we can pass the port, path, protocol, host name, uh, output directory, log file name, and so on. The one that we are looking for is this, which is Chrome driver custom path. It means suppose if you want to provide the Chrome driver path, then you can pass this flag and you can provide the value. So let's see how we can do this. So if you want, kind of I will say syntax, so you can just copy this and we are going to add one flag so copy this okay inside the services part come back here go to webdriver io and simply just replace this fine so this is basically we are using chrome driver service and now these are some of the flags that we are using just to make it little simpler i will just arrange them in this fashion yeah Fine, and uh, this one is for this, this one is for this, yeah. Now just after this, put comma and add this additional flag, which is Chrome driver custom path. Copy this, come back here and add colon. Just after colon, now we have to give the value of this Chrome driver. Now the question comes, how do we get this Chrome driver? Now for this, you can, uh either go back to chromium page or straight off a uh, forward option is go to selenium.dev go to downloads uh come back to the browser section okay and you can see this documentation part for the chrome you can directly navigate to chrome driver dot chromium dot org as well but i went through selenium.dev Okay, as you can see, the list table version is 94. So I'm going to use this. And uh, we have for Linux, Mac, Mac 64, M1, and Windows 32. Let me go with Windows. This driver got downloaded. So click on show in folder. Okay, so you can see now it is available in the download directory. Let me unzip this. Okay, and you can see we got chrome driver.exe file. So let me copy the path. So I will press shift from the keyboard and right click. And I will get this option called copy as path. But in case if you don't get, no worry, you can just go to the property and get the location of this driver. Once we are here, I will simply paste here. Okay, I can remove this additional double quotes. Sorry, I just removed C. Let me remove this double quotes from here and double quotes from here now for windows you can use one forward slash or one or uh, two backwards so i will go with two backwards slash and that's all we need to do now so from now onwards whenever you run a chrome driver it is going to take this chrome driver custom path and it is going to take this chrome driver.exe which we had downloaded just now and these are some additional things okay like if you see the output directory is driver logs and the log file which gets generated is webdriver io chrome driver dot log argument silent okay so these are some additional flag that we're passing along with chrome driver now save this uh, file go back to the terminal and again i'm going to run so i will just sorry not this one go back to terminal and run the previous command which is npx webdriver io run hit enter and this time it should start chrome driver and it should take the driver path that we have downloaded and it should start okay so something went wrong let's see it says spec file failed Let's see what went wrong here. Let me quickly see this part here. Go back to this. This is for service. This is for these options. Let's 
let me add one more bracket here okay so this is additional set of bracket i'm adding so this is the outer bracket then this is for chrome driver service and this is for these custom flags now let me just go back and run again execution of one work has started and yes here we go so you can see now it is going to run it's going to take the latest driver that we have used and it did login and it did some activity that was supposed to do so basically here in element.js we had some of the checks that it is doing and we are getting all these values okay so the previously it was filling because i missed one additional bracket so apart from this we had one more this additional bracket that i have provided and finally it's working okay so that's all for this video guys in case if you're facing the same issue that if you're using chrome driver service and your browser is not getting even started it means there's a chrome driver issue in that case you can refer to this documentation okay which is yeah let me go back here to this chrome driver service option here you can find your additional options that you can pass the main thing that we have passed here is chrome driver custom path so this is the key the value should be the driver that you have downloaded i'm using windows for this example so i have given the path till dot exe but if you're using linux or mac os then you have to give the path till your chrome driver dot sh file now these are some additional flags that we have used right uh, so if i just go back can you see this output directory is driver logs which is this so if i open this you can see i found another log file which is this which is web driver io.log if i open it has nothing it just says chrome driver was started successfully okay so that's all for this video guys i hope this video will help you because this is the first step in order to continue with your test automation. And if your browser is not getting started, you might end up, you know, getting frustrated. So try this. And if you face any other issue, let me know. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to use another service, which is standalone service. In that case, you don't have to worry about the others drivers. So let me quickly give you the small glimpse what exactly we are going to do in the upcoming videos. So you if you want to run your test in let's say firefox edge browser or any other browser so you can go with this service which is selenium standalone service and then you don't need to worry about which driver to download and which browser to use it comes with all the local browser as you can see so in the upcoming lectures we'll talk about this as well and we'll try to do parallel testing as well Okay, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If this is useful, then share this with your friends, colleagues. And if you find any other issue, let me know in the comment section. And in case if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.